Stodden. Cue the horrible picture. Oh, God, it looks just like you. That looks like you. That looks bit. like me. Should I it do like it? looks like you at your birthday. Uh -oh. That looks like Eliza. That looks like Eliza at her birthday party. And Let I was it. like, I saw her at the bar, and I was like, hey, Eliza. And she turned around and did that face. Not kidding you. Wait, <laughs> wait, I can do it better. Hold on. <laughs> wait, where's her? Like that, okay. Yeah, that's it. It's like Just that. Just roll it to the side. You so, do the yeah, that that's way. exactly what it was. I was like, hey, Eliza, get me a sh Oh, my God. Wait, that's not that, it's this. Oh, lava layer. Where is she? Oh, sorry, you're lava, sorry. Okay, there. Lava layer. Yeah, there you go. Does that look like Eliza, everyone? <laughs> Wait, it's gotta go that it way. It does, it, it looks go. like Eliza. <laughs> that's pretty good. Looks good, though. She has more volume in her hair. And it's a little blonder. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh. I'm fixing that my birthday. That was you, that Careful. was you at your birthday. Careful, Jody. Yeah, Jody, that was not cool. Um, <laughs> it's real. Courtney Stodden, in case any of you don't know because you're not that cool, Courtney Stodden is, just turned 17, and she married 51-year-old actor Doug Hutchinson, who you may or may not remember from The Green Mile. Uh, I didn't see The Green Mile, so I don't remember him from that. But they got married, and it's the biggest deal because she is functionally retarded and wears, <laughs> I, I don't even say that because she's stupid, she wears an armband, like a metal one that like Egyptians wear for costumes. So she's an idiot, uh, and she's famous for sending out tweets with a lot of alliterations, like, Scintillatingly setting myself down in front of the sun as I sunbathe, thoughts of sexiness course through my Ugh. skin. Uh, that, go was, to, that was good off the cuff. Off the top of my head, it was yeah, not so that bad. Was nice. that was just shows you how it's not hard, Courtney, if you have half a brain, <laughs> which she doesn't, because at 17, your frontal lobe is not fully developed, which is what people say is the reason she's in love with a man who's old enough to be her grandfather. So it's a big deal, and if you Google her or watch her, here, here's my thing who should be shot? Courtney Stodden or us for making her famous. Now, oh. I used to be on the anti-click bandwagon, meaning like I wouldn't click on Kim Kardashian's website or Paris Hilton stuff because the more clicks you give, even if it's just for some sort of schadenfreude-based way of looking at something and feeling good because they suck, you're still giving them hits and clicks. But I've decided I've lost that war uh, because we created the monster that is Kim Kardashian and all of her disgusting family. So click away, why not do it to a blonde, and uh, let's watch this girl Self-destruct. She'll be gone. She'll be gone in a month. She'll be gone in a month. Why do you say that? Because I, I, I actually just heard of her and... Because of me? Did I tell you? Yeah, pretty much because of you. It's not like unless she gets her own reality show or something, she's just going to disappear. Her husband isn't really doing anything. He's not like he's on a show right now. Is he? No, they want to get their own reality show, which I will absolutely watch. Is that why they got married? <laughs> I don't why, know. Why they got them, that's why they got married. I should marry somebody who's like 75 and get my own reality show. That's what the real. That's what the girls next door is based on. It's what the American dream is, people. It is now. Uh, so I don't know who should be shot. I feel bad that I introduced you to this train wreck of a person. There's yeah. a famous interview. If you go online and click like inter uh, Courtney Stodden interview, the entire time Doug Hutchison is talking. Who, by the way, looks like a chemo patient because he always wears a bandana. <gasps> You're balding. Let it go. You're 51. <laughs> it's what you do. Uh, she's doing this the whole time. Like, have you seen this? Where mm -hmm. she's just doing this. Like, that JPEG as a GIF. Like, that's, great. that's it. That was a tech joke for you. Okay. So, I don't know, check out her tweets. It's kind of fun. Uh, she also made history last week because she was, like, the number one trending thing on Twitter, and her Facebook page got taken down because she puts racy pictures. To oh. be fair, they aren't naked, so people just object to her being 17 and looking like a 2 o'clock stripper. I but object to the fact that she's 17 and she looks like she's 40. She looks a lot older. If you look 17, look 17. 17's hot. Why? She is what 40-year-old women want to look like. Exactly. Wait, except she's 17? Yeah, that's yeah. the point of the story! Oh. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's like this the whole time. It's just like, oh. So, <laughs> fuck it. America's always... I love my country, but... We've already got disgusting neoliberal hippies occupying Wall Street, so why not have fucking lizard-lipped, awful-looking Pam Anderson wannabe <laughs> rejects with armbands marching the streets and getting their own reality shows? <laughs> Kim Kardashian, I still hate you. Me I don't too. think you're off the hook. You're a bad person. Yeah. Okay, now let's get to the part where my friend talks. What time are we? Oh, look at that. The show's almost over. Look at that. Uh, time flies. Jody. Eliza. Jody's not just a pretty Auburn face. Jody also wrote some books. I wrote some books, everybody. I've got the hold WTF. Oh, should hold I hold them, them up? Okay, I'm gonna hold them up. WTF college. There's WTF work. There's WTF women. How to survive 101 of the worst effing situations with women and OMG guys. 
This is pretty pretty big stuff. Do you want to tell them what the book is about? Like what it has in it? Like, give, right, like read do, a passage? Let's, let's read one of them from it. From uh, WTF Women or OMG Guys? What should we do? Okay. Oh, I have OMG Guys. OMG Guys. So we have more guys in the chat room. So All right. I think they like that. Oh, no, then right. that's, a, that's a for girls. So let's do WTF Women because we have it's more very, guys. It sounds, it sounds confusing. It's, it sounds expensive. Um, let's see. Uh, your girlfriend is hot but has a smelly you-know-what. Oh, wait, Jody. That's number 28. It's, it's a thing. It's a WTF what? moment. What do I know? So, so here we go. We've got different options. You can hold your nose. You can use whipped cream. You can make showering fun. Or you could just tell her. And then they give you examples of what to do. And all of the books come with 101 different scenarios. Can I vote run screaming while I'm cell phoning all my friends, warning them? You could, absolutely. Which no. one's the one with my quote? Oh, your quote is actually an OMG, guys. It's about hooking up after dinner. It's the lobster joke. Tell everybody about that. You know that I right? pretty much won't eat. If I go on a date with you, we can't get a lobster. Because if you, girls, if you order a lobster on a date, it means you have to touch your date's wiener. That's right. Because the lobster is, it's a sexually binding contract from the sea. Well, it's, it's like the most expensive thing you can get out of dinner. So if you're going to go there on a first date, you better like pr proceed to go there throughout the whole date. That's all. It's just too much. Plus, one time I gave Blanche a bunch of lobster, and then she smelled like lobster and farted lobster for like uh, a week. Uh, Not unlike mm -hmm. last week when I gave her a bite of salmon, and then I was holding her, and she farted on my hand, and it smelled like uh, a fish market. Oh, no. no. That's no. gross. That's disgusting. Uh, Jody also has a story to tell us. I think we all have a similar story. To that. Do you want to play anything about the book? The books That's are really it. fun, and they're, as I say at our shows, they're legit books. This isn't like at a creepy .net website. Like, these are at Barnes & Noble. If Barnes & Noble, Borders, if that still existed, which it doesn't anymore, um, online. Pick them up. Uh, I do have a story I'm sure a lot of people can relate. I have a naked neighbor. Does anybody else have a naked neighbor? This dude is naked almost 24 hours a day, and I can see right into his apartment. I mean, it's, it's like from here to here, which isn't very far. He can see into mine, so he obviously knows that I can see him. Not only is he naked, does he walk around naked just doing, you know, ordinary things like vacuuming and going to the refrigerator, but sometimes he wears a shirt, which is worse, because <laughs> he's bottomless and it's cupping. It cups it. That's what it does. Brian, I hope you never do that. Do it cups it. The shirt comes under? The shirt, no, the shirt comes right to where the sacks start, like right to like, you know, the hair and all of that. So that's it's not sort of, cupping, that's draping. Well, all right, so it's draping. I'm sorry. If this I got were the, the NFL, wrong. we like, illegal march, we got cupping. Okay, draping. I, I have to admit, I do not have a naked neighbor, but I am the naked neighbor. Are you the naked? I, I don't I'm understand naked, why you guys are naked here's, all the time. Cliff Anderson already said he was the naked neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's, here's why. I, I, allow me to explain. I, I, there's no ventilation in my house unless I open up everything. Like, the, the blinds stop the ventilation, and we're all in a courtyard together. So there's at least three apartments that can uh, get in, and it's hot in my house, and so I take all my clothes off. So do you, not, do you not care that people can probably see what's going on down there? They don't care? No, Brian's no, just bragging I I that care. he has a courtyard. Here's, uh, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I heard out of the situation. I'm like, you have a courtyard? Here's the problem, okay? Um, I don't understand the whole, like, nudist mentality walking around with your junk. I'll come out of the shower, and then I'll go get changed. I can't have my boobs just wagging around while I'm vacuuming. That's painful. It's not good. Eliza, you don't walk around naked, do you? Yes, she does. You do? Oh, yeah. They made me put the blazer on for this. <laughs> oh, that's true. I, I walk around that. naked all the time, and on set, if you walk in my room, that is my domain. You're in the spider's web, and you're going to get an eye full of nakedness. I, I don't care. Look, as men or women. Yeah, do you say, really care if someone sees you naked? Honestly, come on. Come I, on. Not, you know what it is? An unwanted, for a woman, an unwanted male, but if a, like, when my girlfriends come over, I'm like, what else do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> you like, you're like that scene in those, like, cheesy, uh, cheesy 80s movies where it's just, like, the gratuitous, like, nudity scene where they're, like, slumber party, and they just take it off. What's Only with me, on? it's Spider like, hair. do you want to get a meat lover's pizza, or did you just want to get the macaroni? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, oh my god, pillow fight. <laughs> <I'm> so <ticklish. laughs> <I'm> so... <laughs> Here's the thing, though, too. He's not just naked. Now I see him having sex. And you know this, Eliza, because we were on the phone when I saw it. Although I didn't know exactly what he was doing because I just saw knees. I just saw knees coming up, and they were kind of going up and down, and I thought somebody was having a seizure. I didn't know what was happening. And then I realized he was going down on her. He was giving. Oh, hey -oh. Yeah, so I timed him. I timed him. How long? About 25 minutes. Not bad. Not bad, but no, also not No, that means he's good. bad at yeah, it. not good. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. No, it's taking be, a little bit too long. What if he was being patiently teasing, warming up to the main event? Okay, we are moving uh, on. Speaking of, uh, speaking of those regions, uh, in the live chat room, we have DC Smith saying, some of us are really proud of our manscaping abilities and don't get to show it off that often. <laughs> Does it, wow. What does he have down there? Well, yeah, what do you have? Do you have a topiary? Do you have, like, a, what is it? What, like, a horse? Yeah. Did you... <laughs> 
<laughs> you design your hair into a horse fashion? Rides his horse into battle. <laughs> the Trojan horse. Uh, which brings me to another point of the show. I can no longer do the show in my underwear. I've actually... Matt, this is a true downer, Eliza, by want, the way. Just a little bit? No. Man management doesn't approve. Oh, me not have in my underwear? I'm on a TV show and uh, yeah, so very you're, white. You're already on the TV show. They've seen you. It's, it's not like there's like not a thousand clips. Oh, everywhere. I can show you this. Wait. Oh wait, you might. You can't. No. Oh, I can't do that. Disappear. Sorry. Look what you've done. Oh no. You've revealed the <laughs> wizard. I'll show you something. You've revealed the wizard. <laughs> hey, is that new or is that not permanent? Really? What it's a, it? it's it's glitter. I had it put into my skin. You have a glitter tattoo? Yeah. For real? Yeah. That lasts there forever? Uh huh. Is you got weird? one. No, the girl in the girl in my class. That's her business. I got Tit one. Tit for tat. Are I got you serious? Forever. Yep. It's forever. Mm -hmm. It's it's permanent. I can make it go. <laughs> Is it an and owl? There we go. You got an owl? Mm -hmm. A glitter owl? Because I'm really wise. Is that for real? Like for real? Permanent? Yeah, I got a real tattoo. Oh. That please. That's not real. Is it? It's not. Can't be real. I don't believe Is it? it. No, it's fake. Is it real? I don't, you would not do that. I know you, and you would not do that. Not right. a, that's a giant owl. You're right. It's that's fake. not like a little picture of Blanche. Yeah, if you were going to do something permanent, it would be Blanche's face with the beard. I would do stomach. more something more <laughs> like this. Yeah! Bald eagle clutching an American flag in the Constitution. Ka -ka! <laughs> now they're gone. Do you, do, um, but how about this technology? I can do this now. Look, I'm or, you're already overlaid on yourself. I'm already <laughs> news. Oh. <laughs> I'm already late breaking. I'm already late. Uh, thanks, Jody. Thank you, Eliza. Thank, thank you. Uh, I want to do a new segment called Shows You Have or Haven't Heard Of, which pretty much covers every show, um, except for Excuse, because I don't think anyone watches it but me. No, every, no everyone watches. Everyone's, everyone everyone's in the chat. Everyone's going to go. Watch yeah, all it. of you guys watch Excused, right? You go watching it. Thanks, Mom. Um, <laughs> I stay up late very, uh, wow. I stay up very late <laughs> after I... Don't just drop her. There are several dogs running around the studio today. Just in case, if people wonder what the pitter patter is, like the makeup artist brought a dog. A lot of babies. And yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of doggies around. So I just there's a lot of shows on smaller networks that are actually tremendous and really good. What with awesome shows like uh, Charlie's Angels, which did get canceled, with all these horrible shows on major networks. I think we know what shows I'm talking about. Um, there's so many shows on smaller networks that need attention. So I'm gonna introduce you to four shows. I'm sorry, yeah, four shows that I think you should know about. Number one, Hardcore Pawn. Yeah. Yeah. This is a show about uh, an elderly man and his two spoiled brat kids who run the most successful pawn shop in the Detroit area. And it's pretty much just a showcase of crack addicts and crazy people coming in and asking for money for their jacked up crap like old golf clubs. Good stuff. But it's really fun and it's really good and the kids are really fun to hate because they suck. That one guy reminds me of some kid I went to camp with who I just... Hope we get beat up every day, beaten up. And the girl is fat, and so of course we can tell why she's upset. Uh, but it's a great show if you want to see humanity at its lowest. Ye. Long Island Medium, love it. I'm Teresa Caputo. I love her. I love her. Now, granted, it's a great show, and it's a great show. If you need a good cry, you will cry every episode. Yes, you I'm will. Four for four. Although, have you noticed that every spirit that she channels? apparently is also from Long Island and sounds exactly like her. She's like, your father wants to know where his head is. That's how they where all sound. Is. That's all how my whole family sounds. <laughs> so every dead person that she channels, even little boys, old grandmothers, they all talk like this. Where's the car? Where's the keys? Where are the jewels? I think it's funny how she's always shocked at her own ability. She's I like, know. did your mother collect buttons? I'm freaking out here. <laughs> it's like, well, that's your job is to know that she did that. So she's always shocked that she's right. Uh, but it's totally real, and it's funny because you can only watch so many people cry over their dead grandmother, so they have to have like a B storyline, so yeah. it's like her kids being annoying, like, yeah. Mom, we got you a tape recorder. That was a good one. Eh, it's just lame, but uh, <laughs> her, her husband looks like a, an ex-con. He does. He's in good shape. No joke. He's and in good shape. He's a, it's because he's a heroin addict. No, I don't know. <laughs> he's very, he looks like Billy Bob Thornton. And it's, when I think of a medium, I think of like long hair, ethereal, a lot of turquoise jewelry. Not that hair. Mm -mm. She doesn't look, but she's putting a new face on mediums. So that's a good fun haircut. We also have American Horror Story. Have you seen this, Jody? So good. One of my favorite shows. Uh, I love to be scared. I love horror movies. That's why I spent all night watching Thinner, which is the worst. Yeah, not good. Oh, not good. white man from town. <laughs> um, American Horror Story takes place at an old house somewhere, I'm guessing by USC, because that's where those houses are. 
Uh, old house, of course, is haunted. And this isn't one of those things where it's like, oh, the door shut and the window open. No. This is like crazy stuff happening, people dying every couple minutes. It's creepiness. Amazing. It's one of those shows where you're constantly saying, oh my God, I can't believe this isn't on HBO or yeah. Showtime. It's I, I still can't believe it. There's I'm, It's unbelievable. It's like watching a different horror story each episode. I know it's, there's only been two, but I think it's very clever. It's graphic. It's riveting, and it's a bit like Lost in that you know that it's like a super deep storyline, and you just hope that they do have an ending in sight, and it's not just a bunch of weirdness. Yeah. Um, but it's really good, and yes, she is pregnant in that, and yeah, that guy's super creepy. But that's not the actual costume that they use in the show, so I don't know why it looks like that. Um, Bar Rescue is the last one. Starring John Taffner, who's old enough to be your father, he basically is a guy that goes into bars, tells you the science behind a bar and what makes it work, and fixes up bars that are in trouble. And it's awesome. It's like bubbles to alcohol ratio in your glasses, where your eyes go on a menu. Like, he teaches you all that stuff, and he's like a tough New Yorker. He doesn't take shit from anyone, and it's pretty awesome. It's a great show. And you get to see really trashy bartenders get it served to them, because they deserve it. No one's, you never saw it? I haven't seen it. I was, and I was gonna bartender. say, I, well, I, I don't have anything to say because I haven't seen it, but it's I'm gonna watch it now. What channel is it on? Uh, what channel is it on? Spike? I like how you're being quiet about it. Like, it's, like, <laughs> it's on Spike, which I know they oh. don't like it when women watch or come I know, on their I was network. Gonna say, my television doesn't normally go there because I've got breasts. Usually it just shuts down. Yeah, it actually does a scan of your house to see if you have a tampon. <laughs> it does, a little more for you. Um, so those are the shows. If you, I watch all these shows daily, so if you wanna watch some colorful commentary, you can follow me on Twitter and I'll tell you all about them, because I get jacked up. Oh, by the way, uh, FBI's person of the week should be Teresa Giudice from Real Housewives of New Jersey. First of all, your last name isn't Giudice. No one from Italy has a last name that sounds like that. It's Giudice, and you're an anti-Semitic bitch with a bad hairline, and you're retarded. And you're an example of why America's in trouble. People who have a lot of money that don't deserve it, that are stupid. She's a horrible person. You're a really bad person. Wow. And I would say that to your face. And you can curse at me all you want with your high school education, but I hate you and your fake French tip nails and your bad spray tan. And your horrible, spoiled little daughter. I want to smack Oof. her daughter every time I see her. And I love kids, don't get me wrong, but if that little girl cries one more time, ooh. Maybe they're crying because you dress them up the way I dress Blanche at Christmas, like an <laughs> asshole. You suck. They are, they're all pretty terrible, but I love the show. Thanks, Bravo. <laughs> and now it's time for the concluding segment of our show, Wolf Corner! Uh, Shout it what your name is. <laughs> Dick wolves. So I think in honor of what we just talked about, uh, today's Wolf Corner should be wolves as the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Do you want to participate? Yes, I'd love to participate. All right, I will start. Oh my God, whoa, whoa. Makeup and jewels, whoa, whoa. Someone else go. I'm gonna scratch your face off. <laughs> Stop messing with my cub. I'm a, I'm my own woman. Whoa. I make my own money. Whoa. This is real fur, bitch. <laughs> Let's all do it. Was that hairspray? Oh, what about this? Oh, oh, forget about it. <laughs> All right, so you're about people. Uh, come see me. I'm coming to the St. Louis Funny Bone. Take the wolves away, thank you. I'll be at the St. Louis Funny Bone. I forgot the weekend. You have to check the website, St. Louis Funny Bone and Parlor Live in Seattle, first week of November. I'm also going to be on the Rachel Ray Show coming up. Yay! Yay, I don't have the exact date. I should come back to you in a week when I have all the dates. I'm more professional about it. Follow me on Twitter. Like my show, please, on Facebook, because I need people to watch it. Jody Miller, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much, Eliza. Blanche. Yay. Blanche is licking her thank dog vagina. This has been the Weekly News. Those were the hard-hitting facts. They're holding you after currently. Thank you for tuning in. We are back. PR, I will see you next week. That is a promise. That was bad.